Hello and welcome back to Inside Weiermann, the video series that brings our malt house to your brew house. My name is Axel Jani, I'm the team leader of the international customer consultants here at Weiermann and today's topic are alternative grains and which malts we can produce with these alternative grains and subsequently which beers you can brew with them. In front of me you do see our five malts that we produce from alternative grains. Uh, two are produced from spelt and three are produced from rye. Spelt is a relative of wheat and uh, we have this available and uh, we malted it as a base spelt as well as a chocolate spelt. Um, spelt is uh, predominantly grown for as a, as a very high valued grain in the baking industry. It gives some um, um, special moisture and creaminess into the bread dough and um, also this is imparted into beers brewed with spelt. Um, the base spelt itself has all the enzymes uh, available um, for a proper um, saccharification and in order to have a spelt product to round off um, aromas as well as imparting um, color into your beers, we also have a chocolate spelt. As well as the spelt, the rye has also been used for baking bread. It is probably in Germany the most predominant uh, grain for, for making um, a wholesome and flavorful bread. And um, again, it's available in base rye, in a caramel rye and in a chocolate rye version. So with these three products, you have the potpourri of flavors that you can bring into the beers. Um, here the, the rye has um, um, bready notes um, due to the pentosans in it. It gives a creaminess into the beer. Um, we will later on um, see that um, very well in our two examples. And um, to, to round this off, the uh, caramel roy is such a beautiful product. It got sweetness, it got toffee notes, nutty notes are imparted into the beers. And here on the chocolate rye you have with 700 EBC or 350 Lovie Bond a very you know, colorful addition uh, into your beer recipe to uh, play with the color that really goes well in, in rye beers. Just as wheat, uh, the spelt and rye do not have a husk. Uh, so keep this in mind when you are developing your recipe. Uh, you need a certain solid bed of uh, uh, barley malt to get enough husk into your loudering tun. But also be patient. I mean, due to the um, content of pentosans and, and the protein levels, loudering time will be longer. Um, so have a beer at hand while you're waiting for the uh, word to run uh, clear and um, enjoy brewing a beautiful beer with rye and spelt. So I brought two beers, uh, two examples of uh, rye beers with me today, um, brewed on our pilot brewery here at Weiermann. Uh, the one is the award-winning Bamberg Rockt, and the other one is the Rye PA. So here Bamberg Rockt, being more of a traditional German uh, rye beer with a twist. And on the other hand, a very modern um, IPA based on, um, on the uh, malt of, of rye. Um, on a rye PA, there is a solid base of maltiness, that creaminess that really pushes um, the hops that you choose for your rye PA. Um, certainly a beautiful balance between the creaminess coming from the rye. Uh, I often say the rye foam is almost like as if you are pouring it with nitrogen. 
The bubbles are really small and creamy, but this all coming from, from the rye itself. Um, enough said, I will open our Bamberg Rockt. It's a bit of a play with the word Roggen, which is the German word for rye. And of course, Bamberg rocks and Weiermann does rock. So here we have the Bamberg Rockt. Um, it is um, having all three rye varieties inside, the base, the caramel, and the uh, chocolate. In addition, oh, I poured a little bit too much, sorry for that. Um, and in addition, it does have a bit of um, Bamberg um, or Weiermann uh, Beechwood uh, smoked barley malt. Um, Franziska Weiermann, uh, her bachelor thesis was about um, smoked malts and how they impart or even push flavors if dosed in the malt bill in a smaller portion. And this is a, certainly a good example of how uh, the complete beer uh, aroma is rounded off with that hint of smoke without scaring anybody who is not into smoked beers. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's excursion into the alternative grains and the malts that we produce and I hope you brew a beautiful um, rye or spelt beer with it. Cheers and see you soon.